team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog. Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Ann Hand Dog and we back to it. You know how we do it. Why John Stockton was better than you think? I think this is gonna be a good video because I haven't done any John Stockton videos yet. So before we get into this video, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. We're on the way to 10K. 10K, so help me out. You right there that's watching. Go ahead and help me out, man. Go ahead and like this video. Once you like this video, Go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about John Stockton. Like, I think he kind of get a bad rep. Because people always try to say, like, if it wasn't for Carl Malone and the pick and roll. But it, it's, it's kind of funny. And I think Carl Malone always get talked about and be like, if he didn't have John Stockton, he wouldn't be that good. So which one is it, man? I think them two just was just great together. And you can't take away from their greatness. You got to just appreciate it. So let's get into it. We got why John Stockton was better than you think. Let's get it. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sharon Kip. This is Gary Payne. Hey, this is Fogger Saul. Hey, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. And you gotta be good. You, there's no way that you only can be good because of one other person. If uh, Carl Malone is number two all time in scoring, he's number two, number two all time, and then John Stockton's number one all time in assists. So how could people not stop these two if it was just them two? They they weren't that good for real. They was just relying on the other person. Like how is that possible? If Carl Malone is number two in scoring and John Stockton is number one in passing, like they had to be really good to be doing that over and over and over again, and people couldn't stop it. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. Up, I'm your Sean? host, Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. Listen to Jersey now, today's there. episode, I want to talk I'll about my here. favorite point guard of the 1990s, John Stockton. And there is this, I don't want to say rumor, but many people say that he was overrated. And me being mm. a John Stockton fan, I can't just accept that. So in today's episode, I want to prove and show you guys that John Stockton was not overrated. If anything, he might be underrated. But before we get to that, let me give a quick shout out to the Patreons of this episode. Thanks a lot, you guys, for supporting the show as always. It's really appreciated. And I would say, without any more blah blah, let's get right into today's episode. Sean Davis doppelganger just popped in there. I don't know what that was about. But before we get into this video, I got a question for y'all. You right there that's watching. If you had to choose, you know, you, you had to draft, and you only can pick between John Stockton or Isaiah Thomas, which one you picking? And I don't know, that might be a little tough. I probably would go with Isaiah, just because I feel like John Stockton, I mean, I could be wrong. Hope they might change it, in this, they might change my mind in this video. But I think Isaiah was a better defender. He was a more peskier defender where he was getting a lot of steals and, you know, he wasn't backing down defensively. I don't know too much about John Stockton on the defensive end, but that's why I would probably pick Isaiah because of what I know about Isaiah on that defensive end. And he was, he was up in you. He was the bad boys for a reason. <laughs> Said, I think John Stockton is the perfect point guard. Perfect point guard. Mm. All right, let's try to do this in this video. I know it's gonna be a little tough, but whoever can, whoever can give me this answer, I got something for y'all. Let's count in this video, even if it's a duplicate video, how many times they showed an assist from John Stockton to Carl Malone. That was one. That was one right there. His sense go too. of where he was on the floor, his, I'm his peripheral down. vision. It's like watching an artist work, John Stockton. Mm. 
you'd say, how did he see him? Huh? Oh, he's over there. Boom, he throws the pass over there. They all been to Carl Malone so far. He's one of the few guys could pass the basketball where players wanted. To me, it's phenomenal. He's got him low. The mailman jumps it. Shatter. It's in. It's in. This made each other, uh, made it so much easier for each other. So how am I going to approach this video? Well, basically, I could show you a summary of John Stockton's career and show you how good he was, but I want to approach it a little bit different. I want to divide this video into categories and show you how good he was in any specific categories. And the first one that I want to start with is defense. In today's okay. game, there the player go. is a great two-way player who can not only score the basketball, but also defend well, he automatically gets a lot of recognition. Players like Clay Thompson or Kawhi Leonard come to mind. Now back in the days when defense was taken way more seriously, there were simply more players who were amazing on both ends of the floor. Guys like Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Joe Dumars, Hakeem Olajuwon, and David Robinson. I mean, you get the idea. But because the there weren't trenches. many players who were built this way, it was not such a big deal. But let's put things in the right perspective. Stockton was never the most athletic guy on the court, he but was because fast of his right great there. basketball IQ, he was always positioned well. And there was a reason why he is still the all-time leading player in steals. He would never oh, back shit. down from any challenge got- My bad, John Stockton fans. I know there's gonna be some fans on here like, bro, you don't know shit about basketball. How could you say that John Stockton is not that good of a defender, Isaiah is better, and John Stockton is the all-time leader in steals? I did not know that. I did not know that. I thought it might have been like Chris Paul or something. Like I, did, I didn't know that John Stockton was the number one all-time steals leader. So let me put some respect on his name. Let me put some respect on his name. This might, it might change my mind. I might pick John Stockton over Isaiah at the end of this video. But let, let's, let's see what more they talk about. Starting the greatest players of all time and also doing a great job in that. Now let's have a look at some defensive plays of John Stockton. Give me that, Scotty. His pass knocked away by Stockton. John Stockton is such a tough guy. You watch the uh, dunk attempt miss. Now watch Stockton step in here. He knows he's going to get smoked by Michael Jordan. Forces him to take his eye off the target and look at him. And Michael missed the easy shot. He played about 45 right there. Give me that. Now when we talk about the most clutchest player in NBA history, the names that come to mind are Michael Jordan, Kobe, Larry Bird, Kobe. Reggie Miller, but nobody is talking about John Stockton. It's I have Kobe. no idea why, because John Stockton was one of the few players when the game was on the line, he was there. Let's have a look. Okay. Break off. He was clutch too. Give me that, Jordan. Mm, pull up. With the pull up? Splicat. Splicat. Ooh, that's how you take him to the finals? That's how you take your team to the finals? That was no Carl Malone passing it to no Carl Malone. That was him just taking it upon himself to get his team to the final. I'm sure they probably lost to Jordan after that, but that's hard though. And that was I'm sure that was a good Rockets team right there too. The Rockets was always good around that time. So John Stockton was clutch. He was a great defender and he was also clutch. Okay. Okay. We done learned two things about him already. Stock's got it. He's got running room. Stock could grab. Hang it up. It's good. That could have been an air one. Good rebound. Good rebound. Good pass. Good rebound. Good pass. Another assist. Y'all come. Y'all come. Out of stop. 
I'm now, sure course, it's going to be like 15 plus. The first thing that comes to mind was that John Stockton is this incredible passer. And many people believe that he was just a good passer because of Carl Malone, because they ran the pick and roll to perfection. And this is only partly true. Of course, he had many assists with Carl Malone, but he had, in general, this great core vision. He could find the open man. He could see the tiniest gaps. And I want to show you some of his incredible passes, proving that he was not only a good passer because of Carl Malone. Let's have okay. a look. Okay, I knew that was a stereotype. That's what the casual fans used to say. Why the Madison Square Garden uh, logo so small? Maybe they made that bigger. Pick and roll. Karoliko was playing with them back then? I don't know why I thought Karolinko was way younger. Mm. Are the wall passes not to Carl Malone? The next point that I want to talk about is John Stockton's toughness and psychology on the court. Now most fans appreciate the way Dennis Rodman played his game, tough and also with a bit of an edge. And John Stockton was basically the same just with his own style. And this is something that you simply can't rake high enough. John Stockton was one of the toughest guys I've ever played against him. Mm. Uh, we had a series on uh, the playoffs. It was our first series in Sacramento. And uh, we were playing against Utah. The great Carmelo and Stockton. And I felt that our team was in awe of them. Uh, we were younger. And so I told Coach uh, Adam before the game, I said, uh, on the first play of the game, I'm going to lay Stockton's ass out. <laughs> the coach said, are you sure? I said, yeah. I said, trust me, Coach. It's the first game. We just need to do it. Like, you know, they're... So to make a statement. Everything that's coming, they don't expect it. I lay him out on the screen. I'm talking about I lay him out on the best screens I ever did. Got my shoulder kind of in that head area too, to kind of make it a little dirty. He pops up off the ground, pats me on the butt, and says, "Nice screen." <laughs> do you know? Do you, do you know how uh, demoralizing that is? And we played Utah out there make two years in a row, six so games, good. so twelve games against John. Get this Stockton. video done. Mm -hmm. And I have the greatest respect for him. See him away from the court. Love him. Great guy. But he was a dirty bastard. <laughs> oh, John Stockton was dirty? <laughs> Is that true? I ain't never heard that he was a dirty player. But you I don't even I don't even want to even put that against him because at six foot, 175 pounds, non-athletic, um, just the, the smallest guy on the court every single time. You have to play with some type of chip on your shoulder. Like, you have to. Like, if you don't, they're going to push you around. Like, they're going to they gonna, they gonna use their height, their weight. They're, you know, they're going to use all that to their advantage. So what can you do to use it to your advantage? And that's play tough, play, play rugged. And because of that, some people are going to call you dirty. It is what it is. But I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at Isaiah being called dirty. I'm not mad at John Stockton, Chris Paul, Patrick Beverly. Like a lot of these players, you gotta play like that to, you know, to 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 make your make your presence felt out there. Oh, Steve Kerr. I've never seen a therapist about this. I'm gonna. This is my time. Let it go. Go. There you go. I can go. tell you feel oh, better. Oh, oh, take the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> John, John That's good was defense. a person that wasn't that dirty. Would stretch the boundaries. All right, GP. Now. We've talked about why don't like crime being John Stockton because right. you said he was so smart. What what was it about him in a game situation that you just couldn't put your finger on as a defender? The first beginning when I start playing against him, and I told Zeke this all the time. I, I hate that I, I didn't get to play against him or Magic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I only had two seasons against them, and they were at the tail end of their, their thing. So John was the, really the one that now was taking over everything. Mm. And what it was, I used to always go into games thinking that I was going to psych everybody out. I was going to talk crazy to everybody and tell them. He wouldn't talk to me. He wouldn't even look at me. You know what I'm saying? So I think we were so silly and we were so dumb that we knew the, the, the um, film on him. We kept saying he was dirty, but we knew what he was going to do. And when he did, did it, we let him do it like a dumb. Now the next category that we're going to take a look at is John Stockton's scoring ability. And this to me is a category that often gets overlooked. Of course, he never was averaging like 25 to 30 points a game simply because he was a pass first point guard. He was the perfect point scoring. guard. He was very good when it comes to shooting. And also, he was a very efficient Ooh. scorer. Not only a good three-point shooter yeah, and a good mid-range shooter, but he could also penetrate. 
Higgins on the way into play. Higgins with the first miss by Warrior. Eaton got the rebound off to Stockton. Utah he looks very fast. I know they said that he's not athletic, but he looks very, very fast. And being fast in, in my book is being athletic. So I don't know about him not being athletic. Yeah, he wasn't dunking on people, but his athleticism was, was his speed. Before the game, he said, I'm not guaranteeing anything. And that mm. shows that he may be feeling a lot more pressure. So if I would have to rank John Stockton in my all-time point guard list, and I know it's a very unpopular opinion, but John Stockton to me is the best point guard of all time, simply because he was great on both ends of the floor. Race. But hey, that's just my opinion. So you please post your opinion underneath the comments, underneath the video. I would really be interested to see what you guys have to say. And that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe. Appreciate you, Sean David. I'm definitely about to react to that one right there. The NBA legends on why Dr. J was better than everyone. I think that's pretty new. I'm um, probably gonna do that one next. But I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Um, I think I needed that. I just learned a lot about John Stockton. And that's the beauty of me doing these reaction videos, y'all. Like, obviously, I'm doing them to, to get paid off of them. Like, I mean, it's, it's a business. I'm having fun doing something and getting paid off of it. But I'm learning a lot. Like, I, I'm learning more about the game of basketball. I'm um, learning more about these players that I wasn't, you know, old enough to watch growing up. Um, I obviously heard of John Stockton and all different things, but I didn't know enough about it. I didn't know that he was all-time leader in steals. Uh, all-time leader in steals. I didn't know he was a tough, super tough, you know, well-rounded player like that. Like, I didn't know these things. So I love doing these reaction videos and just learning more about the game of basketball. But make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like this video if y'all liked it. I'm sure y'all liked it because it was a, it was a good video. Uh, and go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know where John Stockton ranks on the all-time point guard list. He just put him above Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson was a point guard. And he just said that he was a better, the best point guard of all time. And I can't give him that. But it could be an argument. He's the all-time leader in steals and the all-time leader in assists. So he has a case. But let me know in the comments, man. But I appreciate y'all like always. We out.